Hello all, Jackie here, Vintix98. Hope you're all having a good day. Um, wanted to bring you another uh, video on the 301 yard sale haul that I did. Um, this one is on the bracelets. I didn't have too many bracelets. I mostly got earrings and necklaces. This is just a few. I have this blue and gold tone. It's a hollow back. Fold over clasp. And this is a Monet. For it to be hollow, it's got a little weight to it, so yeah. Let's set it to the side. And then this bangle. This is a uh, oops. Talbots. I like the enamel on it. It'll be cute for the fourth. So yeah, that's that one. And then just this one here with the uh, dots. It's like a pinkish purple. You can't tell really in the video, but it um, it's. A lot of dots on this one. Yeah, it's like a, I really can't tell. It's like a pink, pinkish purple bracelet. What is that? And this one here, the silver tone. Lily bracelet. This one, um, opens. I gotta use my other hand real quick. It pulls open. It doesn't hinge or anything. It's like twist. You push it back down. And it's textured. This has weight to it. Textured brushed and polish finish. That is just very cute. And this rhinestone bracelet. Rounds with marquee. With the fold over clasp. No marking. I picked up the stretch bracelet. I don't do a whole lot of stretch bracelets, but the um construction of this one there's a weight to it the links are fairly thick and the colors the turquoise and the peach and pink little pink rhinestones clear rhinestones bezel set stones in between each link I don't think this one had been um, used a lot because it's really tight to stretch still. It's not loose. This one I will uh, most likely not keep. I will put her for sale on my posh mark closet. I will put the link down below. And then I have picked up this Avon bracelet, pearls, fold over clasp, it's the Avon, oops, the front and the back are identical, so 
the only way to really tell that you're putting it on correctly is that the clasp that I picked up this one this is plastic I like the clasp on it. Just the texture of the being. And this one is a Monet. So I have that one. And I just have this little wrap bracelet. Root beer colored beads. It is plastic. And this uh, San Marco with a polish and brush finish links has the fold over clasp. I don't believe, I don't know if it's, no, it's not. No marking on it. And I picked up two Scarab bracelets. One has the larger stones and the other one does not. Smaller. And then just this plastic striped bangle. And this textured bracelet and a gold tone. There are uh, no markings on this one, as you can see, but it's all the way around with the design on it. And this one, um, there's a little issues on there where it's discolored. I hope I can do something about that because I do have the earrings to this bracelet, Sarah Coventry. Other than that spot there, it's in um, really good condition. There we go, Sarah Cove. So I hope that uh, that'll come clean. And this one, the gentleman just gave it to me when um, I was looking at it. Let me see if I can see it. Yes. On the edge here, this section right here is a little discolored. Right here. Let me get it where, yeah, right there. So he just gave me this bracelet. He gave me a couple of pieces because I pointed out that they were uh, missing stones or broken a little bit, which I believe I can fix. So I thought that was very nice of him. And this, that looks like a horse and Cora. Oh, that's interesting. I don't think I've seen one with that stamp on it. I'll have to see. But um, that's my bracelet haul from the yard sale. So I hope y'all enjoyed. Please like, share, subscribe. I would appreciate it.